Hi, I'm Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com. In this video, I'm going to discuss with you a new option that is available in the latest version of PowerPoint Office 365, which is to morph a shape, icon or picture in PowerPoint. It's a very fascinating option. If you have already got Office 365 subscription and if you want to sign up for the Office Insider program, all you need to do is to go to File, go to Account and then use Office Insider program. You click on it and then join the program and you would be able to access this beautiful new feature in PowerPoint Office 365. For those of you who are not using Office 365 version of PowerPoint, this video may not actually be so useful. You can always click on the i card here and watch one of the most popular video tutorials on our presentation process channel. Now let us jump right in and learn what this new Shape Morph tool is all about. In my earlier video, I showed you how to create interesting and creative effects using Morph Transition when your Auto Shape has an inbuilt adjustment handle in it. In case you have not watched that video, I will leave a link in the i card here where you can click and go to that video that shows you how you can use morphing bullet points effect using PowerPoint Morph. Let me give you a quick overview of what I was talking about in that video. Let us go to Stars and Banners and pick up this four point star. Hold the shift button down and I'm drawing the shape here. Let me adjust the adjustment handle. You can see that this is the yellow handle. This is called as adjustment handle. Let me move this to the center and this is how the shape looks in the first one. I can duplicate the slide and then in the duplicate, I can adjust the handle like this and create something as interesting as this. And then let me go to transitions and use morph transition. And let me go to the slideshow. And this is how the morph transition works. It's a very beautiful effect, isn't it? Now, this is possible when your auto shape has adjustment handles. Now, what if your basic shape doesn't have adjustment handles and you want to transform one shape into another? That is when this new Shape Morph tool comes into picture. Let us go to Home, go to Auto Shapes menu and pick up any random shape. Let us say I want to pick up this one called as Pentagon and let me draw a pentagon here on the slide. Let us say I want to change this pentagon into something totally unrelated, maybe something like this one which is a 32 point star, I can do that. Let me show you how it is done. First, you need to go to Home tab then go to the select option here under editing group and it is in this tab itself. So click on that and go to selection pane. When you go to selection pane, you can see that there is a name for the shape. It is called as Pentagon 6. We are going to make a change to this one. All we need to do is to add a couple of exclamation marks at the beginning. So I'm going to click on this and that automatically allows me to change the name here. I'm going to use my keyboard to enter two exclamation marks. Now I'm going to click on the slide and the name has been changed. Now I'm going to duplicate the slide. Now watch that it is the same shape here. Now let me select the shape, go to shape format, go to edit shapes, change shape and this time I'm going to use this one called as 32 point star and this is now the new shape. Let us go to transitions and apply morph transition to this second slide and then let me go here to the first one, go to the slideshow, on a click it morphs itself beautifully into this shape. Now is this restricted only to morphing auto shapes? Not necessarily. You can even morph icons and pictures. Let me show you how it is done. This time I'm going to insert an icon. So let us go to insert icons and let us say I want to talk about a concept like our organization has moved from being a big elephant to a nimble tiger. So I'm going to pick up this icon here under animals for elephant and I'm going to say insert. Let me increase the size of this icon and we have the icon here. Now, as always, we are going to change the name of this. It is called as graphic eight. So let me click on this. I've already gone to home and opened the selection pane and here I'm going to add two exclamation marks at the beginning. Now our job is done. I'm going to duplicate the slide. In the duplicate, I'm going to right click, go to change graphic option. From icons, I'm going to choose the icon of a tiger. Here is the tiger's icon and I'm going to say insert. 
Now let us go to transitions, morph, and let us go to the first slide, go to the slideshow, and on a click you can see that the elephant is now morphed into a beautiful tiger. Now to show you the difference between the new shape morph option and the option without it, let me do the same demonstration without changing the name here. Let me start from the beginning, insert icons, and I'm going to use the same example. We have changed from an elephant into a nimble tiger. I'm going to increase the size. I'm not going to make any change to the name here. I'm going to duplicate the slide and in the duplicate, I'm going to change the icon. Right click, go to change graphic from icons. I'm going to choose the tiger icon and let us apply transitions morph. And when, when we go to the first slide, go to the slideshow, this is how the morph happens. You can see that the effect is nothing but the old icon disappearing and the new icon entering. That is not what we want. We want two icons morphing from one to another. And that is what is achieved using this beautiful new shape morph option. Now, let me show you how to apply the same effect for pictures. So let us go to insert, go to pictures, and I'm going to use the picture of this lady carrying some shopping bags. And this one is going to be now named in the new way. So let me go here and click on the name and I'm going to add two exclamation marks at the beginning. Then I'm going to duplicate the slide. Then I'm going to change this picture by right clicking, going to change picture option from a file and I'm going to use this happy lady option. And then let us apply morph transition to this duplicate slide and see how this transformation happens. On a click, you can see that the sad face is now turning into a happy face. Whenever you want to visualize one object transforming itself into another object, this beautiful new option in Office 365 will come in handy. But then the tool has its own limitations. It can only show you transformation from one to another. What if you want to show other concepts in your business presentation? That is when templates from our comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle comes in handy. This bundle has more than 4,020 premium PowerPoint templates with a number of powerful concepts included in the bundle. I want to show you examples of five concept templates picked up from our comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle. The first example is this one, which shows an establishment breaking down. As you can see here, this one represents an organization. In the first stage, you can see that we talk about the establishment. In the second stage, we talk about the weakening of the establishment. And then in the third stage, we show that an establishment has broken down. This is quite a common concept that is used in many of the business presentations. Let me show you another example. Here we talk about removing the key element from the structure. This is a simple structure which is built of various concepts or various principles. You can have this as a metaphor for any number of things piled one on top of another. Now there is an invisible force that removes one of the key components and then the whole establishment collapses. If you want to just talk about one concept of change, for example, you want to say that impossible is nothing, you can use something like this. Can you see here? If you want to talk about change, you can click on this and then there is a roller that changes change. Another example is this one where we show you idea to execution. First, we have different ideas that are popped up. Idea one, idea two, and idea three. Of course, you can replace this with your own text here and you can talk about idea generation here. Then we move on to the next phase where this converts into execution where these are changed into gears and they work in a beautiful way. Let me show you another example. This one is about idea that flies. Here we talk about the different ideas that we have on table. Then we select all the other ideas that don't fly and the one idea that flies is then pointed out like this. Now these kind of concept slides are not available anywhere off the shelf on the internet. All those templates with pre-built concepts are available as part of comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle. If you are a professional who needs to use PowerPoint as part of your profession, then comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle is a worthy investment. I will leave a link to this product in the description box below the video. You can click on the link and find more details about this product and make your investment today so that you can make beautiful presentations for the rest of your life.
By the way, did you like our tutorial on the new Shape Morph tool available in Office 365? If you did, then please give this video a thumbs up. And if you want to watch more such tutorials on PowerPoint and Excel, please hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you can be notified about any new videos we create on this channel. Thanks a lot for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one.